How Expert Top 10 Bike Joring Tips. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Bike Joring Tips. Number 10. Your dog's age determines how much they are allowed to pull your bike. When looking to start bike joring with your dog, it is important to remember that starting your dog out at a young age isn't necessarily what's best for them. Because your dog's joints don't fully develop until they're a little older, if you start them out too young, it can cause permanent damage to your dog. Between six months old to one year old, you can start doing canacross training, which is running with your dog in harness attached to a hands-free belt on your waist, to start them into their training before attaching them to a bike for bike joring. Number nine, bike joring with your dog requires extra training. Training before heading out to bike jor is very important. When attaching your dog to a bike to pull you, you want to ensure they will not hurt themselves by going too fast too soon. Dogs have a tendency to not understand they can't go as fast or as far as they want starting out. So it is important to know your dog's limit and never push them too far so they don't injure themselves. Running isn't the only training that is important before starting to bike jor either. You also want to make sure to teach your dog all the commands they will need to know when you get out on the trail so they listen to you. Some of the most important commands would be hike, start running, on by, aka keep going. This is very important to keep them from stopping for every sound or scent they pick up. Gee, go right, haw, go left, and whoa slow down or stop. Number eight, how to choose the perfect trail. Choosing the perfect trail is crucial. If you're just starting out, you wouldn't want to bike jor on a difficult trail as it could cause both you and your dog to want to give up on bike joring altogether. Find a wide, mostly flat or rolling, grassy or dirt trail and start there before upgrading to rocky, rooty, hilly, technical trails that are more challenging. Also, try to avoid paved trails as much as possible as it can injure your dog's joints to run on too much pavement. Number seven, what weather or temperature allows for bike joring? When it comes to bike joring, you will want to pay attention to both weather and temperature. If it is too hot out, you won't want to bike jor for long distances. And when it's hot enough, you won't want to bike jor at all or risk overheating. When it does start getting warmer out, ensure you choose trails with plenty of areas you can take a break to allow your dog to both drink water and even jump in the water where the terrain allows. You also probably won't want to bike jor if the trails are extra muddy, like during a rainy season. This can cause unwanted hardships for both you and your dog when bike joring. On the other hand, there are activities you can do with your dog when the weather and temperature isn't optimal for bike joring that allows you to continue to keep in shape and keep your bond strong with your dog. Some of these activities include can across, dock diving, swimming, agility work, scent work, any training classes, etc. Number six, what and when to eat and drink when bike joring. Nutrition and hydration are some of the most important things to ensure you have covered when doing any activity especially when it is something that keeps you active and burning energy. Water is the most important thing when it comes to any activity you do alone or with your dog. 
Proper hydration is the number one thing you need to pay attention to. And it is important to always carry more water than you think you will need in case something happens and you are out for longer than anticipated. Also, always ensure you and your dog both have enough food in your system to have the energy to complete your activity. Number five. A strong bond with your dog is vital. A strong bond with your dog is key to being able to bike jaw with them. You will be relying on your dog to listen to your commands, especially if they have a prey drive or like to greet people. You will want them to be very confident in the on-by command to pass by these distractions on the trail. You will also want your dog to trust you to know what they are capable of doing, and you will want to trust your dog to do what they need to do to get you safely in and out of the trail. Number four, what gear will you and your dog need for bike joring? When bike joring, having the proper gear is a very important step to getting started. The first thing you will need is a bike. Now, a lot of places will say you have to have a top-of-the-line, fancy, expensive bike. That isn't necessarily the case. You can get any bike with good off-road tires, good brakes, and is the proper height for you, and you'll be fine. You will also need what is called a bike antenna. This is simply a device that attaches to the bike handlebars and helps to keep the line or leash from getting caught in the bike tires as you're riding. The next thing you'll need is a bungee line to connect your belt to the dog's harness. This is a line that has some give in it, so there isn't a hard tug when your dog pulls the line tight. The dog's harness is a very important piece of gear, and there are many different varieties to choose from. The most common being the X-Back Harness, which is what you see most sled dogs wearing. The main thing to remember when it comes to the harness is that you don't want a harness that restricts or changes their movement when running. So you don't want one that clips in the front of their chest or any that puts pressure on the front of their chest. Also, you will want to get a helmet to wear in case of wrecks because no matter how careful you are, you will most likely end up wrecking. Number three, remember safety at all times. Safety is always important when it comes to any activity nowadays because you never know what might happen, especially since bike joring season lines up with hunting season. Wear bright clothes, get some bells to attach to the dog's harnesses or to the bike, and always carry pepper spray with you in case of wildlife or someone wanting to hurt you or your dog. Always try to carry a phone on you in case of major emergencies, but remember that some of these trails you will not have service while you're on them. So a trick I use is I always text someone where I'm going and how long I plan to be out there. So if they don't hear from me after a certain amount of time, they know where to start looking for me. Number two, make sure both you and your dog are in good health before starting bike joring. Find a vet familiar with dog sports and what they entail and contact them about getting your dog a physical to ensure he or she is healthy and in good shape to be able to start bike joring. You will also look for specialists for them so they can get routine checkups and even massages as you start your journey of bike joring. You will also want to make sure you're in top shape before starting to bike joar because even though you will be relying mainly on the dog pulling the bike, you will still want to be in good enough shape to pedal when you need to. Number one, most importantly, have fun. The biggest thing to know about bike joring is to have fun. This is supposed to be a fun activity to help you and your dog build your bond and get your exercise at the same time. Don't be upset if your dog struggles to learn their commands or if they get distracted while out on the trail. 
sit back, and spend some time covering the basics again if need be. But always know they are having fun out there because you're spending time together. And this is what matters more than making sure every ride is perfect. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos for all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics that you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.